<laughs> Hi, I'm Emmy. And, and I'm Caitlin. And for this video, we're going we got together to talk about how to stop bullying. Now, we've dealt with it through our own experiences, so we know about what's going to happen if you do keep on getting bullied. Um, my experience when I was like 12, I was a bully in middle school and I I hurt one of my best friends. I kind of tripped her outside on the track. And of course, it's Emily. And I told her I was sorry and we both made up and not last March um my one of my good friends Daniel Shaw has passed away because of bullying and I can't, I can't stand the fact that somebody would do that like that but I've been bullied too so and so have Emily we understand what why he did it and for me my experiences I go through this kind of thing every day where there's this girl I don't like, and she doesn't like me either, but we keep going back from friends to not friends just because we don't want to, like, start any drama at school. And that's okay sometimes, but at the same time, if you do keep on going through that, you'll be, like, a like a tunnel and stuff, and you'll have to keep going farther and farther into it until there's just one point that you give up completely. My point will be in high school because then I won't have to see her face or anything like that. Um, and one fact about bullying, just don't isolate yourself. If you have something in your head, don't keep it bottled up because that's, that's what's going to make you do something to harm yourself. Just don't, don't bottle things up because that's the worst thing you can do. Talk to somebody, talk to a counselor, talk to a parent, talk to somebody you trust. There's a lot of videos on YouTube about how to stop bullying, and a lot of them really don't work because people don't exactly have the experiences sometimes. They do, but then at the same time, it stops before they make the video. Since we're going through it, I think it makes it a lot easier to talk about. And when if you're like, I don't know, keep on talking. If you're sad or you feel like, you aren't going to go anywhere with your life because of what people are doing to you. Don't keep thinking that because it's not true. Once you don't see anybody like that anymore and you don't have to see them all the time, things will be better. Or if you like start talking to them and you guys make up everything and you guys are friends or if you were friends, you're friends again, everything will get better. Trust me. It does. Because last year and like, 6th grade, 7th grade, and almost all of elementary school, I had to go through a lot of bullying with pro people and problems that I did not want to have to go through, and I felt like I didn't have any really good friends at all. But then I got into 6th and 7th grade and 8th grade, and I met really good friends that I have had there for me my whole entire middle school experience, and I know they're going to be there for high school for me in high school. Just because you think that they're not going to be there, it isn't true because they will. And if you're still in school, teachers are going to be there for you. Even if they get annoyed at times, they're still going to be there for you. And they won't ever just leave you behind and let you just ignore all the bullying and say, oh, just go tell a counselor. They'll be there for you. Just go up and ask them and ask for their opinion. Don't just say, just don't keep it bottled up like I said, because that's the worst thing. Don't go into violence either, because a lot of times you go into violence and you get yourself even worse. And then after that, people start getting even more mad at you and start bullying you even more because you did something that you got in trouble for. Yeah, you shouldn't be doing anything to do with violence. And don't, if you have to go to a counselor's, a lot to try and fix your problems and everything and they basically te start telling you that it's not the best thing for you to be doing then just stay away from that person because if you have to go through it more than like 16 times you know that's not really a true friend at all and if 
your counselor does tell you to stay away from the person, but you're in the same grade and you can't stay away from them, go home and tell a parent because probably your parents will explain to the teacher how you can't go on in the class because of that same person and just get your get a schedule change and if possible yeah and um just try try not to bully people because that's what happened with one of my friends and he's now not here anymore Gone, and it, like you said and he it kills me inside to just say that because it's so close to one year of him being gone there's so many like bad memories from that are coming to us again so and I wanted to talk tell Deborah something so I just am going to tell her Deborah and Saw Deborah um you are you are you have been the strongest person out of your son passing away and I just thank you for that because you what what you've posted on his wall on Facebook and stuff, that's really helped me cope with it. And I'm, I can't, I still can't get over it, but you and Dan are the best people that I've ever met in my entire life. You guys are strong, and I can't believe how strong you guys have been, you guys have been through this. And I have something to say for our deep friend. We've known her for, since like sixth grade. Her name's Anna Tobek, and She's been through a lot of the same stuff because she went out with Daniel for a long time, too. And she knows, like, a lot. He, she knows him a lot, and they ha went through a lot together. So, yeah, we're sorry, Anna. And Cheyenne is left. Um, Cheyenne, I know you guys have dated, and I understand how you feel because I've been in that situation. And I know that it's hurting you inside to just think of it that he's gone, but I know you can get over. I know you can move on from it. And if you ever need somebody to talk to, I'm always here. Even though if even if we don't get along, that doesn't matter. I will still be here a hundred percent if you need anybody to talk to. Okay. Follow me, comment and subscribe at Emmy Wolf 12's channel and. Follow and subscribe and comment and like this video. Subscribe to Caitlin's channel, Caitlin Bostock. Alright, I'm Emmy. And I'm Caitlin. And this is our message on bullying. Thanks.